What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and tonight's video I'm going to show you how to set up an auto top off system for your reef tank for $100 or less, which I know you guys are going to love. So, auto top offs. How many people out there have reef tanks that they go down in the morning and they feed their fish and they check the level of their tank and they're looking and they're eyeballing it and then like I gotta check the salinity so they get their refractometer drop 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 look up into the light and it's 1.024 1.025 and they're happy with it but then the next day it's the same thing over and over again am I looking at it the level or do I have to check the salinity am I dumping RO in how much am I dumping in am I dumping 500 ml am I dumping a liter am I dumping a gallon where do you have to keep your tank at the level it needs to be to keep the salinity? So, problem solved. An RO DI auto top off system. Now, everybody thinks that's going to be expensive, but I'm going to show you how to do one for less than $100. And trust me, it is worth it because you do not want to come down to your fish or your tank every single morning and look at the level and you just want to enjoy your fish. Feed the fish, enjoy your fish. You don't want to have to look at the level of your water and make sure it's perfect before you take off for work and then worry about it all day long. I know I do. I know you do. Anyone who's passionate about their fish, they worry about it. So, this is uh, my 40 gallon breeder. It's uh, my second reef tank and I set up an auto top off because I'm tired of coming down here in the morning with the evaporation, especially in the summer, and dealing with oh, test the salinity, yeah, oh, I gotta dump RO in it, and then test it again, then test it again. I gotta go to work in the morning. I gotta drop my kids off at daycare, preschool, school, school. I don't have time to do that. So, what do you do? You set up an auto top off, and it's worth it. And I'm gonna show you the three things you need for less than $100 to set it up. So, here we go. Boom. High door smart level control. Now, when I ordered this, I almost thought it was going to be a complete top off system, but it's not. It's just the control that sensors your tank. And so this was $79.99 on eBay. So there's your 80 bucks. Aqua lifter dosing pump. Now, this is perfect because it will lift your water from your bucket to your tank. This was $13.99 on eBay. Perfect. And airline tubing. You like black, you like blue, whatever you like. I like blue, I like black, I got a bunch of it. I got two pumps, one controller, and it was less than $100. But for this purpose, let's put the pump aside. Put this aside and I'm going to give you guys to show you what's up. Now, here's your pump. You can see it. Uh, the sensor has some nice lights. It has an alarm to let you know it's not working. It's got the power to let you know that the power's on. It's got your max and your min level. Minimum level. So what you do, here's the tank. You have your sensor here. It has a minimum and maximum level. Now this is above the water. Let's see if we can get it below the water. Right? Boom. So, once you have... Let's just say you're going to do a water change. So, do a water change. Fill up your tank and get the salinity perfect. Say you want it at 1.024, 1.025. Find out where that is on your tank after your water change. Put this sensor in your tank where your tank is perfect salinity right where you have it at and put your alarm up here and put the water level right at your max level anytime the water starts to evaporate and drop below that your pump which is right here is going to start dripping RO into your tank and making up for the evaporation and so Therefore, you don't have to do it by hand. Now, what is this? The pump is super easy, right? Here we go. I know, this is completely stupid. One tube goes right into your tank. Super easy, it comes with a nice little 
connector for the airline. The other tube, which is right here. I know you guys are going to be like, oh, what the fuck is this? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Goes all the way down. Down, 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 down. And right here into your bucket filled with Haro. Now, you can use a five gallon bucket from Home Depot. I got plenty of those. They're all over the place. You can use the, uh, one of these little buckets. I like a gas tank bucket because it has this, uh, this breather, like when you're supposed to dump it out, you know, pour gas into your lawnmower or whatever you're doing. You uh, pull the breather out and it pours quicker. So it's perfect for letting, putting that tubing in so you don't have to drill a hole in like a five gallon bucket. So I like that. So you have your RO bucket completely filled here, going up to your tank. And you have your sensor here, which whenever the water starts to drop from evaporation, it triggers it off. Boom, there's your sensor says, hey, I need RO. Goes right to here, starts stripping RO. I have tested this for over two weeks now. Well, about a week and a half, and the salinity has not changed. It's been perfect right where it needs to be for the whole week and a half. So it's easy. You don't have to dump RO in your tank every single day or every three days or every four days. This takes care of it for you. So, when you're setting up a reef tank, $100 or less, auto top off. Totally worth it. Especially if you are a busy body and you have a busy life. So, this is Mike from Mass. Auto top off, 40 gallon reef. I'm out.